Good afternoon. Welcome to another week with us, Nidus Academy, bringing you reading live with me, Vinod James. How are you all? How was your weekend? Hope you had a very uh, lovely Vishu celebrations and all. Yes, and hope all of you have a lovely year ahead. Isn't it? We welcome a lot of new, new hopes and new things to prosper along with a lot of new, uh, what can you say, things to achieve. Very nice. So may God grant all of your, what can you say, uh, your dreams in no sooner. Right. So people, welcome to another session. It's Monday, is it? Siminebu, good afternoon. Very, very, very good afternoon to all of you. I can see a lot of uh, new names already popping up. So if you're new, please do let me know that you're attending for the very first time. If so, where are you from? Right. Um, as a student, Jobia, good afternoon. Very, very, very good afternoon to all of you. So there are a few who is going to write the exams this week. Um, okay, so people who are new, why I keep on asking you whether you're new, new, new is to make sure that you're guided through, okay? Because Neetus Academy only have two Telegram groups. One is an official Neetus Academy Telegram page. Lena Joseph, good afternoon. And the other one is an exclusive reading Telegram. Okay, these are the only two groups that we have and we have just pinned the official Neetus Academy Telegram page. Now, why these two groups? Because one group is where the one which we have pinned, the link. But there's also a free group where you can get a lot of insights about what are the things that we do. Neetu and Nish, good afternoon. Saumya, good afternoon. And all those general information that we want to convey will be posted in that. And the other one is an exclusive reading telegram group, which is also a free group, although we have a scrutinizing policy there. Rani Robin, good afternoon. Why the scrutinizing? Okay, there are n number of fraudulent people available online. So we're trying to restrict them getting an access to you. Kaliba Libet, good afternoon. Why this restriction? Because there are, see, the whole idea why we have started this, Sita Tarshini, good afternoon, why we have started this group is to make sure that all the aspirants who really want to make that change in their life and reach their dream, we wanted to be that aid between them. But there are students. Shija, good afternoon. How am I? I'm, I'm doing good, Shija. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And I hope all of you are doing good as well. Anjali, Anjali, good afternoon. Pratiksha Deep, good afternoon. Neetu Ji, good afternoon. And now coming back to Anaga Anos, good afternoon. Now, why Sneha Gopi, good afternoon. Why this? There are certain students who are, you know, absolutely of some other purpose. Okay, they are not absolutely students. They, they forge themselves as students. And they talk about unwanted things or they ask for money and all those things. So that is why we want to refrain with the Anjit, good afternoon. So if you are contacted by any such kind of fraudulent people, Anaga, good afternoon, do not reply, do not respond, just ban them. Okay, because there are students who let us know also, we try to ban them. Okay, because... See, the whole ideology why we have come up with this kind of groups and these kind of classes is to make sure that there are students who have a lot of constraints. Okay, time, uh, Ramya, Ruby, Vinita, Rinsi, Kenga, Devi, good afternoon, good afternoon, Anu John, good afternoon. So we want to make sure that they don't, you know, get distracted by such kind of, you know, this kind of craps, absolutely. They're just trying to you know, ruin another person's life. We don't, we don't trust in that. So, Anjana Joseph, Vanju, Ajujo, Saishwarya Subin, Pearl Pinto, good afternoon, Saumya Shijo, good afternoon. So, very, very, very good afternoon. If I have missed your name, okay, it's not deliberate. It's, you know, the name just keeps on popping up. Geeta Unni, good afternoon. So, if I have missed your name, I'm very sorry, a very good afternoon to each one of you. Tintu Sagar, is there anybody who's attending for the very first time? Neetu Binoy, good afternoon. If so, please do let me know. Okay, and just tell me where you're from, if it's okay. Just to tell the other students who have that courtesy to share. Okay, there are students who share our link. 
okay those those students are absolutely you know remembered more because why because that is how we gauge about whatever that we come in front of you the more you share that means you feel that this is important not only for you but also for other people okay that is why the only nobility that we expect from you is the number of shares that you do because you are all there in various social media platforms okay so just do that share it so that another person can also be of benefit okay so i know that there are there are few who regularly share us there are few who haven't yet liked our page or liked or followed us or not subscribed to the very same channel that you're watching please do that so that you will not miss because not only that i come in front of you need to madam comes in front of you with uh, chris sir every day comes in front of you with listening classes so that is all there in the very same telegram group which we have pinned ramya gopi from kuwait okay thank you very much ramya very kind of you so um you know and also see when when somebody tells you okay, i'm from kuwait i'm from saudi i'm from maldives i'm from sri lanka i'm from nepal i'm from ireland i'm from uk i'm from new zealand i'm from australia i'm from israel i'm from south africa i'm from other parts of africa we have people we have students from all these uh platforms n number of times okay so that is where you should be feeling proud about yourself okay i'm attending a international class isn't it even though it's a virtual reality nammal aare angotu angotu kaanunnilla nundengilum i always feel that you're all there right in front of me okay and then lot of names i know it's a very profound name priyanka from mangalore isn't it yes i share this page and let others utilize this thank you very much priyanka priyanka is one name that i always remember is, is the way that she enters okay she comes every time she comes and say hi good morning priyanka from mangalore so that is how i remember see i told you she came to sagar from maldives isn't it one of the very beautiful places i don't know which at all are you from but i was there so it's one of the most loveliest country that you can ever visit okay so yeah good enough good enough so happy that uh, you know people are from all those places where you have these profound memories meren good afternoon anna wagis good afternoon pravinda is france okay am i happy pravin thank you very much you are the first person to come from france okay that's another country there in my bucket list is one of considered to be one of the most uh, beautiful country that you can visit so yes pravin dai is from france dona vi tom good evening sheja okay with the navatar albi maria good afternoon dona vi tom from australia okay that is another country where you know it's it's also there very very nice ali fatol okay fair enough fair enough asha babi good afternoon so you know like lots of lots of good 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 memories i have a lot of friends from australia so it's it like that good so happy that you are all from all those lovely places where you know you have all these profound memories that is there excellent so thank you very much for all those lovely students who had that you know courtesy to come and tell us so tell you all that you know you can imagine is it that you have people from maldives you have people from france you have people from australia you have people from kuwait middle east the n number of and on top of that you have a lot of uh, people from different parts of india as well so good enough seema bijju good afternoon janila good afternoon so what are we going to do today as usual no change we will be dealing two things one we'll be talking about a part a question which i've already shared exclusively to the academy material and the other one is we will be going and discussing a part b question these are the two things that is something that we discuss on a day to day basis okay so how you should be looking into is to make most out of what you are going to be okay see every single day you have to tell yourself you have to sit open and see what can i learn today okay see every time you have to tell that to yourself see a lot of students are in need of that confidence okay now why i'm talking about this importance of confidence today is see um we we write a lot of exams on a daily basis okay 
കുറെ കാരണങ്ങളാലും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ It's not because that you don't have the capability. Okay, that's where you have to start telling yourself. Okay, it's where you start. Okay, I want to make sure that all of you are also telling that to yourself. See, on the day of exam, I have to start from nowhere. It's, you should start from zero. And then work your way to B. But if you start from minus, that's where you end up dropping short. മനസ്സിലാവുന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ എപ്പോഴും യു ഹാവ് ടു സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ടെലിങ് യുവർ സെൽഫ് ഐ ഐ എം ഗോൺ ഗെറ്റ് ഞാൻ ഇത് എഴുതി എടുക്കും എന്ന് പറയും ഓക്കെ അത് എല്ലാത്തിനും ഓരോ റീസൺ കൊണ്ടാണ് സി ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് ദാറ്റ് ദർ ആർ സെർട്ടൻ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഹു ക്ലിയർ ഓൺ ദി വെരി ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈം സം വിത്ത് ലക്കി നമ്പർ ടു ത്രീ ഫോർ Anju Sijan good afternoon. My lucky number was all, you know, considered 11, even though 7. But I had to write for 11 to get certain things. You can't just say, see, when you leave at the very last moment thinking, okay, I have written two times. Now I don't. How would you know that third was the lucky number? It will be right around the corner. Okay, so do not leave or do not have any preset assumption. But of course, you have to focus saying that I will clear it. every time and make sure that all of you clear on the very first time but if it doesn't happen you have to always tell yourself okay god has a number for you okay now let's go into the first thing what is the first thing that we are going to do we're going to talk about a part b question now where do you get this part b question the part b question will be shared right now on the screen once it is shared you'll have a two minutes time just now good afternoon bit late no problem it's always i always love the students who are always giving that energy boost to you because all of you because of your lovely participation your lovely share we have that urge in coming in front of you because we know that you will be eagerly waiting for us i know that you have work you have other chores to worry about but we are absolutely obliged to all of you sridhi chandran good afternoon it's it's because of your we consider you as a patron whatever that we do it's it's the support that you lend us is an absolute um what can you say hats off to each one of you okay you the way that you support in telegram the way that okay now you have the question right in front of you please do the question and then we will discuss it later do not write the answers i will ask you when to type the answer just find the answer and once you have done just say you have done Ooh, the two minutes just goes very quickly, isn't it? This is why we are giving this two minutes here. You should know how quickly the time runs. Now you are in a very comfy zone. 
but on the day of exam, you'll be a bit more tense, doesn't that at that time the you know this time just finishes very quickly. Jenny Castellino, I know that name. Okay. So uh, all of you have got the answers? Yes. So if you have all got the answer, can you type what is your answer? Where you got the answer? Very important. Anna Dunn. Jenny Castellino, newcomer from Oman. Okay, there you go. Another person from Oman. Okay, very nice, Jenny. Thank you very much. So this is all. All these lovely people are coming in and it's all because of your share. So please do share to the maximum so that all the students who are unaware of such kind of free classes going, they will also pray for you, isn't it? That's another boost on the day of your exam. So be aware of it. Angel Mary Sam, good afternoon. B in the third line, okay, fair enough. Simini Budan, Liba Dan, okay, excellent. So all of you have said that you have got the answer now. Please be kind enough, Praveen, Praveen dies. France, isn't it? Yeah, B, Simini Bu, B from middle line. Okay, fair enough. So all of you saying B. See, do Litty fill a B from third line, okay. Aishwarya Subin, B. Kenga Devi, B, Anju Sijin, B from the middle, okay, fair enough. Princey John, B, all of you saying B, very easy answer, is it? I don't know, I'm just asking. Rani Robin, B from second sentence, Anu John, B, Niji Jordan, okay, Liba Libin, B, Aju Jos, B, Neetu Vinoy, B, all right, Lintu, B from third line, okay, fair enough. So most of you, I would, I would say, I would. Why I'm saying using the most is Donna with Tom, Donna from Australia, okay. Saumya Shijo, B. See why I'm telling you most of you because there might be. See the whole. You have to really understand there might be that smallest, you know, glitch because of somewhere you. You don't read it properly, you're just, re, uh, you know, like you go behind the keyword, you have chances of getting your answers wrong. Just that split second decision, yeah? So always look into what are the things that you have to do. See, part B, the most important thing that you always have to remember is, first and the foremost important thing is, read the question, understand the question, underline the keywords of the question. Part B, you can be a voracious reader, no problem. Namada Tintu Sagar is B. See, Namaka Bangara reading, no problem. Okay, it's not about, uh, you know, like, how are you going to hurt you? It's what that time management perspective. I think that's why I'm trying to question. I'm going to question why I'm going to put it in the online keywords. I know that this is a digital thing, but if you can. Okay, so whenever it is possible, please do read the question. As you are reading the question, you should be underlining the keywords. See, keyword is very important. The keyword in the perspective and the other thing is that we have a particular word. We have a word not a word. Our word you should remember the question. That's the idea keywords. That's the is that this is the keyword. Keyword is the purpose. We have a particular word that we pop in the question. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Whatever it is, you have to always remember your keywords are something that makes you helpful to understand what the question is. I'll remember what the question is. Lynette, I'm very happy that you have come up with your answer. Okay, other I know reason and the karma answers where are the chances only. You have to Come up with whatever the answer that you have got. In the end, in answer See, once you accept your answers in front of the public, you're not standing or vouching for your own answers. Avade aanu prashna. Nammal nammal answer You have to stand behind that answer. 
അല്ലാതെ ഇവിടെ നമ്മൾ ഒരു എന്നതാ പറയുന്നത് നമ്മൾ ഇതല്ലല്ലോ യുവർ അൾട്ടിമേറ്റ് ഡേ ഇസ് നോട്ട് ദസ് നമ്മളിവിടെ പഠിക്കാനല്ലേ ഇരിക്കുന്നത് നമുക്കൊരു ശരി ഉത്തരം കിട്ടിക്കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് കൺഗ്രാചുലേഷൻസ് ഇറ്റ് നോ ലേണിംഗ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് നമുക്കൊരു തെറ്റി എന്ന് പഠിച്ച നമ്മുടെ തെറ്റിക്കോട്ടെ അതിനാണല്ലോ നമ്മൾ ലേണിംഗ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് സോ യാ ഫെയർണ അപ്പൊ ഇനി നമ്മൾ എന്താണ് നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞത് വി ആർ ഗോൺ ഗോ ബാക്ക് ടു ദി വെരി സെയിം ബേസിക്സ് ദാറ്റ് വി ആർ ടോട്ട് യു അപ്പൊ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ഇപ്പൊ നിങ്ങളുടെ സ്ക്രീനിൽ വരും അപ്പൊ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ അപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ ഞാൻ ആദ്യം പറഞ്ഞു ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ വായിക്കണം അതിൽ കീവേഡ് ഉണ്ടല്ലോ കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അതിൽ എന്താണ് നമുക്ക് അതിലെ കീവേഡ് അത് അത് നോക്കുമ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് എന്ത് ഓർമ്മ വരും ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഓർമ്മ വരുന്നുണ്ടോ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഇസ് ദയർ ഓൺ ദ സ്ക്രീൻ സോ വാട്ട് ഇസ് മെയ്ഡ് ഓഫ് എ സിന്തറ്റിക് പോളിസ്റ്റർ വിത്ത് ഇലാസ്റ്റിക് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് അപ്പം ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ വെരി സിമ്പിൾ ആണ് എന്തോ ഒരു സാധനം എന്താണ് സിന്തറ്റിക് പോളിസ്റ്റർ ആണ് അതെന്താണ് ഇലാസ്റ്റിക് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി ഉണ്ട് അപ്പം ഈ തന്നേക്കണത്ത് ഏതോ ഒന്നാണ് ഇല്ലേ നമുക്ക് പാർട്ട് ബി വി ഓൺലി ഹാവ് വൺ ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ ചോയ്സ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് വിത്ത് ത്രീ ഓപ്ഷൻസ് ആണ് നീ ടു ജി ജോ മൈ ആൻസർ ഇസ് എ ഫെയർ എന്ന് അപ്പം ഐ ഓൾവേസ് ലവ് സ്റ്റുഡൻറ്റ് വെൻ ഇതാണ് നിങ്ങളുടെ മുമ്പിൽ വന്നിരുന്ന ഓരോ ഓരോ ദിവസം ക്ലാസ് പറയുമ്പോൾ ഇറ്റ്സ് എൻ അബ്സൊല്യൂട്ട് ഓണർ ബിക്കോസ് യു ആർ റെഡി ടു അക്സെപ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് അതൊരു ഒരു അബ്സൊല്യൂട്ട് എന്താ പറയുക ഇറ്റ്സ് എൻ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ നൈസ് തിങ് നൈസ് ജസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് യു വോൾ ടു ഡു ദാറ്റ് കാരണം നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മാത്രമല്ല നമുക്ക് നമ്മുടേതായ ഒരു 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 എന്താ പറയുന്നത് ഒരു ഹരിസ്മ ഇല്ലേ അതാണ് നിങ്ങൾ കാണിക്കുന്നത് സോ ഇറ്റ്സ് 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 എ വെരി ഗുഡ് തിങ് ആസ് എ ആസ് എ ട്രെയിനർ ആസ് എ പേഴ്സൺ ടു കം ഇൻ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഓഫ് യു ഫ്രം മിഞ്ചൂസ് അക്കാദമി നമ്മൾ എന്തൊക്കെ നിങ്ങളുടെ മുമ്പിൽ വന്നിട്ടുണ്ടോ യു ആർ ഓൾവേസ് ദേർ ടു സപ്പോർട്ട് കാരണം നിങ്ങളുടെ ആ ഒരു സപ്പോർട്ട് കൊണ്ട് മാത്രമാണ് നമ്മൾ എന്നും മുമ്പോട്ട് പോകുന്നത് സോ താങ്ക് യു വെരി മച്ച് സോ ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ സോ വാട്ട് ഇസ് മെയ്ഡ് ഓഫ് സിന്തറ്റിക് പോളിസ്റ്റർ ഇലാസ്റ്റിക് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി സോ സിന്തറ്റിക് ഇലാസ്റ്റിക് അത് രണ്ടും മതി അപ്പൊ എന്ത് പറയുമ്പോൾ തന്നെ എനിക്ക് അറിയാം ഓക്കെ എന്തൊരു സാധനം സിന്തറ്റിക് ഉണ്ട് അത് ഇലാസ്റ്റിക് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി ആണ് എന്താണ് ഇനി മൂന്ന് ഓപ്ഷൻസേ ഉള്ളൂ വെരി വെരി സിമ്പിൾ ആൻസർ അല്ലേ ഒന്ന് വെൽക്കോ ഫാസ്റ്റ്നസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ടെക്സ്റ്റേ രണ്ട് ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി കംപ്രഷൻ കഫ് മൂന്ന് ഇൻഫ്ലേറ്റബിൾ ബ്ലാഡർ അപ്പൊ ഈ മൂന്നെണ്ണത്തിൽ ഏതോ ഒന്നാണ് എന്ത് വിച്ച് ഹാസ് ടു ഹാവ് ഒന്ന് സിന്തറ്റിക് ആയിരിക്കണം രണ്ട് ഇലാസ്റ്റിക് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി വേണം ഇതിൽ എന്താണ് എന്നുള്ളത് ഇനിയാണ് നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യുക സോറി യു ഹാവ് ആഫ്റ്റർ റീഡിംഗ് ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ അണ്ടർ ലേണിംഗ് യു ക്യാൻ ഈവൻ റീഡ് ദ പാരഗ്രാഫ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ പിക്ക് എൻ ആൻസർ നോ പ്രോബ്ലം ബട്ട് ഐ എം എ പേഴ്സൺ ഹു ഓൾവേസ് ഫോളോ ഐ വോണ്ട് നോ വാട്ട് ആൻഡ് റീഡിംഗ് ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് വൈ റീഡ് മൈ ആൻസർ ഓപ്ഷൻ സോ നൌ ഗോയിങ് ഇൻ ടു ദി പാസേജ് ഡു നോട്ട് സ്കിപ്പ് എനി വേർഡ്സ് ഓക്കെ എനി വേർഡ്സ് ഇൻ ദ സെൻസ് ഈവൻ ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ബ്രാക്കറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് മൺ യു ഹാവ് ടു റീഡ് ഇറ്റ് അപ്പോൾ ബൗമനോമീത്ത കാലിബ്രേറ്റഡ് വി ലോക്ക് കഫ് അപ്പം ഇതൊരു കഫാണ് എന്നുള്ളൊരു സംതിങ് അപ്പോൾ അതുകൊണ്ട് മാത്രം ബി എന്ന് പറയാൻ ഒക്കത്തില്ല ഓക്കെ സോ വിൽ സി ദീസ് കഫ്സ് കം ഇൻ ഫോർ സൈസസ് സോ എഗൈൻ സംതിങ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് ടോക്കിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് കഫ്സ് ബട്ട് ദ പ്രോബ്ലം ഹാസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് ആസ്കിങ് യു വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദ കഫ് ദി പ്രോ തിങ് ഇസ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദ സിന്തറ്റിക് പോളിസ്റ്റർ വിച്ച് ഇസ് ഇലാസ്റ്റിക് ആണ് ചോദ്യം അല്ലേ അപ്പൊ ദീസ് കംസ് ഇൻ ഫോർ സൈസ് ചൈൽഡ് അഡൾട്ട് ലാർജ് അഡൾട്ട് ആൻഡ് തായ് the cuffs are used with all three blood pressure instruments mercury aneroid and omron nothing to do with the given three options then the next sentence the calibrated v lock compression cuff is made of urethane coated dacrin an unyielding material that exerts an even pressure on the inflatable bladder inside the cuff ab enda parayne it is an made up of urethane coated dacrin appa adu oru synthetic polyester aanu manasilayo illa okay no problem if if you haven't no problem an unyielding material that exerts an even pressure on inflatable bladder inside the cuff so idu oru pressure ne kurichu endo parayunnundu ini adutha the compression cuff has a velcro fastener appa velcro fastener parayunnaru that
If the cuff is too narrow, the observed pleasure is, pressure is overestimated, higher than it is really is, and if it is too wide, the reading may be underestimated, lower than it's really necessary. So what is the thing? What is made of synthetic polyester with elastic properties? So synthetic property, I told you, urethane coated dacrin. So what is urethane coated dacrin? It's a calibrated wheel of compression cuff. So the answer is again pointing into B. Any. An unyielding material, unyielding for another it is not. So that is where that elastic property is being shown that exerts even pressure. So that means when it is wrapped around, it is giving you even pressure on the inflatable bladder inside the cuff. See, this is something which is very easy for you. I know that because you have already got that experience about it. So what is the synthetic material? which has elastic property, is it velcro fasteners? It has nothing to do with velcro fasteners because the compression cuff has velcro fasteners. To adhere to them, the position maintains So that is not something which is elastic. Velcro and parayinadu that, you know, that, that uh, two things, you know, where you have one bristle kind of a thing and the other one is like small micron kind of thing. About, that is called velcro so that is not the one which is elastic property and that is not so eliminated inflatable bladder has nothing to do they have not mentioned anything about it as either polyester or elastic property so of course the answer is as majority of all of you have said it is b which is compression cuff so congratulations for people who have got b and i hope people who have got a you understood how you got B. Is there any doubt with regards to any of the questions, any of the answer explanation that I have done? If you have, please do let me know or else let's go into today's part A. What is today's part A? Can you all tell me? Because I don't see anybody saying any doubts and all. So what is today? See many people saying yes, understood, okay, fair enough. So what is today's part A? And how you felt about today's part? That's very important. Anna Bhavi is clear. Okay, very good. Meetu Jijo is saying clear. Excellent. Good, good, good. What is today's part? Eh? And how you felt about today's part in material? Because your valid feedbacks is something that we mold our next material. So Meetu Madam always wants that comment of yours. Kavya Sume is clear. Okay, fair enough. What is today's enzyme marker? Fair enough. How did you find about today's material? Tintus Agar, Ensign Marker, Libra Ensign Marker. How do you find? Easy, difficult, tricky, 55th day. How? Chanila Enzyme Marker, okay. Marin Enzyme Marker. How did you find? That is very important for us. Kenga Devi Enzyme Marker. Easy, Rani. Okay, very good. That's the first uh, insight about the material today. So. I Anna is saying enzyme marker. Okay. Asha is also saying enzyme marker. Fair enough. Simi is saying enzyme marker. Liba is saying easy. Okay. Excellent. Good enough. Anna is saying easy. All right. Merin is saying good material. Okay. Very nice. Pinga Devi is saying easy. All right. Good enough. Good enough. Asha Bobby is saying go easy. All right. Shanila is saying 50 50. Right, excellent. So it's it's a mix of uh, different thing. Generally, uh, slightly onto the easy material, but yeah, tricky. Fifty fifty average. Alina, okay. Thin to good material. Okay, fair enough. Good. Now let's go into part. A. Okay. Now part A is also considered to be a bit challenging on the aspect. Why challenging? It has three types of question. Match the following one to seven. Short answer question eight to fourteen and fill in the blanks fifteen to twenty. You have your spelling issue, the problem. Okay, especially with the eight to twenty questions. If your spelling is wrong, your answer is wrong. Okay, as simple as that. Single occlusion mistake. Okay, time management is another thing where students are finding it a bit challenging. Why challenging? Because 
strategy that you're doing is not right. So if you want to get more insights about the strategy, we have done an exclusive video on part A. Please do refer that after watching this. This is why I always keep on reminding all of you, please do subscribe. Please do uh, click the like button. Please do click the follow button so that you will not miss any such kind of thing. Right. Now let's go into questions. Okay. One to seven are called short answer question where it's more easy. If your skimming is right, it's purely keyword reference. Part A is purely keyword reference. And one to seven is more like, uh, you know, it's like a cat and mouse game. Where you're only expected to find the appropriate letter. Now, let's see. Underlining keywords. Okay, after skimming through the text, you have to go to the questions and you have to underline the keywords and then you have to refer. So, when you, let's see, question number one enzymes that are often present in the blood post to a cardiac arrest. So, very specifically, keywords are enzyme post cardiac arrest, blood. Okay. Now, if you really look into where have I underlined post cardiac arrest enzymes, where? Yes, of course, it is there in text B only. Where is that? It's in the second paragraph. Injury or damage to heart causes it to release protein called troponin, CTN and creatine phosphokinase, CPK, the CPK and all those things is saying post once. See, CPK levels rise quickly after a heart attack or injury or were once used to diagnose heart attack. So that is what the answer is B. Excellent. All of you have got that. Question 2. The alternative marker used over succinate dehydrogenase. So very specifically succinate hydrogenase. There is only one place, isn't it? If you would have underlined, that should have been your keyword. Why? Because it's a very new terminology. So it is as such mentioned where it is there in text D. Glutamate dehydrogenase is another commonly used marker. So what is the first one? Sassinate dehydrogenase. So you really don't have to worry about it because sassinate is only mentioned in D. So the answer is D. This is how you refer. Question three. Activities that shouldn't be doing next to a blood draw. That means you should not do something when before your blood is taken, isn't it? So activities shouldn't or should not blood draw. So where are they talking about? Is that such mentioned in text C? Okay, it's clearly saying uh, uh, stay hydrated, drink a lot of water, then avoid nicotine. Do not smoke because nicotine consumes blood vessels. It's more difficult to blood out of narrow. So all those things are mentioned in text C. Very good. Question number four. Certain aspects that may trigger the enzymes to penetrate into the blood. So aspects trigger enzyme into blood. So where are they talking about all these things that will initiate? So the very first line of text A, an enzyme marker, and they're saying musculoskeletal disease, organ damage, injuries can cause enzyme to leak from cell into your blood. So the answer is A. Excellent. Question 5. Important markers of ER. So markers. Where are they talking about markers? So markers is only there in text D. Now ER. Again, it is there in text D. So the answer is D. Question 6. How does a healthcare professional usually perceive an enzyme marker? So a healthcare worker perceive enzyme marker. So where are they talking about? Usually they're talking about in the very next sentence of first part, your text A. Your healthcare worker provide may refer to enzyme marker as biomarkers. So what is it? It's a very straight answer. A. Question 7. Who can stand and capture the sum total of stimulants from other sources? So who? Sum total. Sum total means the whole total. So where are they talking about? Is that such mention? Where in text B, the third paragraph, the form of CK that's specific to skeletal muscle is known as the CKMM. CK when used it in its own refer to the total amount of CK from all sources. So all those things are as such mentioned in text B. So that wraps up 1 to 7. Please be kind enough to tell me what are your total scores out of 
7 in the meantime let's go into 8 to 14 which are called short answer question as the name says the answer can be as short as a word a number a combination of both or a very short phrase you will not get to the longer answers okay now let's go into question 8 what condition is clearly demonstrated by increased level of cpk in cpk isoenzymes test so cpk isoenzyme where are they talking about cpk if you really look into it, it is there only in text B. Now go and scan the area. This is how you quickly refer. Okay, keywords. Okay, CPK only there in text B. Now go and see. Iso isoenzyme test again in test C is as such. So the very first sentence of the third paragraph, it looks for the elevated CPK levels that indicate tissue damage. So what is the condition? Tissue damage. T I W S U E D A M A G E. Two word answer. Question 9. The sole authentic marker executed for the liver and kidney endoplasmic reticulum so they're very specifically asking you marker that word marker itself you know that that is a heading as text D. this is why the rows and columns of table are very important so you always have to underline that so what is that the answer is glucose hyphen six hyphen phosphatase okay so is that G L U C O S E hyphen six hyphen P H O S P H A T A S E. It is a hyphenated word. So generally, even though you have three different things mentioned, but it is one long word. Okay, so please use appropriate hyphen whenever it is needed. Question 10. Activity that may be that must be curtailed just to prevent the blood vessel from constricting. So activity curtail, that means stopped. Blood vessel constricting. So we just read that when you were doing one to seven, isn't it? So it clearly says avoid nicotine. So what are they saying? Don't smoke. So what is the activity? Is it smoke? No, the activity is smoking. You just have to write as smoking. S-M-O-K-I-N-G is the answer. Okay. In the Question 11. Very good, Rani. Smoking. The specific function that is being accelerated by the enzymes. So, specific function accelerated enzymes. So, what are the things that is being accelerated? Okay, I, I can see a lot of people writing, written, uh, writing smoking. Very good. So, enzymes are protein that aids chemical changes in your body and speed up metabolism. So, answer is metabolism m-e-t-a-b-o-l-i-s-m is the answer so a very straight answer from text a now question 12 how long someone should restrain themselves from doing strenuous activities succeeding a blood draw so very specifically how long means it's definitely a time duration okay this is why you have to get used to this wh questions Okay, what is the absolute meaning? What, when, why, where, whom, how? Okay, so please look into how long means, what's the duration? So restrain, stern is activity. So where are they talking about? It clearly says in text C, the very last sentence, don't lift anything heavy or vigorous, ex vigorously exercise for 24 hours after the blood draw. So the answer is 24 hours. Very good. So question 13. The major function of enzymes that could be noticed in the circulatory system. So major function enzyme circulatory system. So where are the circulatory system enzyme being mentioned? It is as such mentioned. Enzyme play an important role in circulatory system. What is it? Blood clotting. B L O O D C L O T T I N G. So it's a two word answer again. Question 14. Who are assigned to perform a blood draw other than a healthcare provider? So who means another person? Definitely it should be another person. So healthcare provider. So who should be the other one? The other person is as such mentioned where? In text C. The answer is phlebotomist. P-H-L-E-B-O-T-O-M-I-S-T. -E a one word answer. Excellent, that wraps up 14. So now for the final stint of fill in the blanks, 15 to 20, where again the answer can be as simple as that of a word, a number, a combination of both, or a short phrase. No big, big sentences. 
question 15 dance is the first and the foremost enzyme produced by liver the first foremost enzyme where is it it is clearly mentioned where the alt so where is this alt mentioned liver enzyme the two most common enzymes are Alanine aminotransferase, ALT, and aspirate aminotransferase, and AST. So, but the question is clearly saying first and the foremost. So, what is the first and the foremost? It's clearly saying your liver primarily makes ALT. So, the first and the foremost is ALT. You can write it two ways, either the abbreviated form or the expanded form. Either are fine. Now, question 16. The patient must have a condition called DASH. If he is afraid of needles, so see again, afraid of needles. So what do you call that? Needle, something phobia, isn't it? So patient, condition, needle. So where are they talking about needles and all those things? Is as such mentioned? Where? Where is the problem with needle? Xerin, taxi again, speak up. Tell your healthcare provider if you have a fear of needles. So what is the fear of needle called? Sipanophobia. See, this phobia is a very interesting topic, okay? You have n number of topics and some interesting top phobias as well. So please do go and see. If you are, you know, really looking for some um, thing to read, to make, make sure that you add on a lot of knowledge to you, phobia is one amongst those. Because generally, you know, you, you get some funny phobias as well, okay? You, you should go through it. I went through it. And, you know, the number of phobias that people have is an absolute stunt. Okay, so go through that. The answer is T R Y P A N O P H O B I A is the answer. Question 17 Dash is a condition which clogs the arteries and thereby increasing the risk of heart attack. So, condition, clog, increase heart attack. So, what are those talking about? Where are they talking about? So, all these keywords, where is as such mentioned in? Text B, because those are the thing which is causing causes. So elevated CPK level, the second paragraph, may also indicate coronary artery disease. So this condition, clog arteries, increase your risk of heart attack. So what is the condition? Coronary artery disease. The three word answer, C-O-R-O-N-A-R-Y, A-R-T-E-R-Y, D-I-S-E-A-S-E. -S -E. Question 18, we could elevate Eva sorry, we could evaluate whether dash are damaging organs or some treatments are working properly through blood tests. So where are they talking about all these blood tests? We are talking, we have been spoken about it that the very last line was monitoring. These test results can show if your treatment is working or if medications are damaging organs. So what is the answer which is there? The answer is medications. M-E-D-I-C-A-T-I-O-N-S, the penultimate one for today. In order to lessen the risk of dash, you should leave the bandage on for two to four hours. So lessen risk, bandage, two to four hours. So where are they talking about? In order to lessen the infection. Where do you get that? You get that in text C. You should leave the bandage for two or four hours. Again, number two, four. These are all your keyword lower the risk of infection so infection is the answer i-n-f-e-c-t-i-o-n now the ultimate question for today compared with dash the execution of method with the use of titanium oxysulfate is much easier so titanium oxysulfate so where are they talking about titanium oxysulfate is that such mentioned in text d so Compared with something you have been comparing with. So what are they saying? Method using titanium oxysulfate much easier to execute than one using KMNO4. So what is the other one compared with KMNO4 is the answer. You could always replicate what is given in the text. So I have wrapped up my 20 answers. My tight hand that you start telling me what are your total scores and if you have any doubts please be kind enough to ask us any doubts or anything that you want me to clarify or please do let me know what are your total scores Marin 19 excellent good enough good enough very good Saumya Shijo 16 okay good enough good enough
Libra 17, good enough, good enough, keep it up. Sunny 19, excellent, good enough. Good, good, good. I want all of you to comment. See, please do comment. It doesn't matter whether you got the highest or the lowest. It doesn't matter. Neetu Jiju 17, Sintu Sagar 18, Rani Robin, excellent, Neetu Binoy, excellent, 20 or 20, very, very good, keep it up. Geeta, Geetu Unni 18, okay, good enough, good enough. Good, good, good. See, I want all of you. I have n number of students, isn't it? Speed up metabolism? No. The answer is only metabolism because the specific function is being accelerated. So accelerated is already given in the question. So speed up is already mentioned. So the answer is metabolism. Asha Bobby 18, excellent. Aishwarya 17, very good, very good. Keep it up, keep it up. Good, good, good. See, again, you're refraining yourself, isn't it? You're not telling, okay, I should tell my score. That should be the eagerness, okay? And I'm sure that by no time you start telling, yeah, I should tell. What is wrong, isn't it? You're all here. It's not that you only have the ultimate. You will reach the ultimate once you make that first step, okay? You'll reach the end of your journey once you start. When you don't start, your journey is not complete. So please be aware of it. Adujo 17. Good enough. Good enough. So as I could see that there is no doubts with all of you. So do you have any doubts? Chanila is also saying thank you. So as we have started saying thank you. It's high time on behalf of all the family members of Nidu's family. A big thanks to all of you to giving us this kind of support for another live session. Until I meet you tomorrow, adios from me. God bless you all. Take care.